Hi and welcome to tutorial 45 in this series of tutorials and programs designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language Programming. If you're not part of our email mailing list then please go to markplex which is m-a-r-k-p-l-e-x.com and sign up for the list. Right here you can also unsubscribe whenever you want to. So I'm often asked by clients how to plot the high of a day, low of a day, or traders pivots or indeed the high or low of a specific period within a day. So what we're going to be doing is showing that through this tutorial and uh, the reason for the, 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 that you may not necessarily wish to have the high of the whole day is for example if you're a foreign exchange trader uh, say trading the, uh, the pound dollar you might be interested in the period of time that the UK stock market is open for instance and uh, rather than the whole day but I'm just going to go through and start with the day and then we'll look at the uh, the others in other words a period of time starting and ending within a day or even a period of time starting one day and ending the next so firstly uh, you can see on the chart here what we're doing is plotting the high of the previous day you can see the day changing here and this line here is corresponding with with this point here which was the high of the previous day this is using the same uh, methodology as the high D function that uh, TradeStation uses. So what we do very simply is we know there's a, bit that a new day has occurred when date is not the same as the previous date and I've said D here but this could be equally well for the date, I'm just abbreviating it. And uh, when that happens what we do is we set the highest high as the new highest high. Now new highest high we'll see below is the variable that we're storing uh, each high as it gets higher and then we set that we reset the new highest high and then we say that uh, if high is greater than new highest high then new highest high equals high so new highest high keeps a record of the highest high all the time and then at the end when it, when a new day starts it simply puts it in the highest high and then we plot highest high so the thing you can see on this chart here is the the highest high being plotted. Just to uh, just to show you what I mean, if for example we wish to also plot the, uh, the new highest high, we're going to get another line there, but what we'll see is that, that line gets higher and higher during the day and then at the end of the day the uh, value is pushed into the highest high and that's what we see plotted. So if I just press, oops, Okay, it's new highest high. Let's press F3 again, and we just go back to the chart. We'll now see the effect that that has had. So you can see here that the, this is the new highest high, and as we get a, a higher, higher, higher high during the day, that is set, and then it's reset as we start the new day, and uh, and so on. So that is a very, very simple case of. Uh, plotting the high of the previous day. But what if we wanted to plot, for instance, the uh, the time between a start time and an end time? Well, let's, uh, let's apply program two. Now, this program is really not the way you would do this, and I'll explain that in a moment, but this is just a very simple way of demonstrating the, uh, the process. So I'm just going to switch the program on and we're going to go into the uh, the inputs and choose a couple of um, suitable inputs. So let's say uh, we'll go from 11 to 2 o'clock, that's fine. So what we're doing now is we're looking at the period of time between 11, which would be this bar here, and the, the two o'clock bar, we're saying whatever the highest is between those at the two o'clock bar or after the two o'clock bar, we then set the line. So we're just concerned with those few bars between the beginning and the end time. And the way that I did that is I said if the previous bar, the time, the previous bar is equal to the end time, again, that is abbreviated, so we could just say time. Saying if the time of the previous bar is equal to end time, then we need to do like we did in the previous program. We reset highest high to be the new highest high, and uh, we then reset new highest high to zero this time. And then what we say is if time is greater than start time 
or equal to start time and time is less than or equal then we go through and again we do this ratcheting effect where we keep on increasing the new highest high every time it is greater than the high so that by the time we get to the end time we can then reset the highest high. Now this works uh, pretty well but the problem is we are assuming that we have a bar at the end time. So for example if I were to change the inputs to a end time value that we know there is not a for example on this particular 30 minute chart we know we do not have a 1415 bar and uh, now look at it we'll see we've got a problem what's happening is the uh, the plot is permanently zero and this thing has not worked because we were basing the we were hoping or, or basing that the, uh, the the time when we were going to reset the highest high when time was equal to end time and since time is never going to be equal to we're never going to have a 1415 bar then this program really fails in that respect so we have to find another way of doing it so what I'm going to do this is uh, going to be part one of this video I'm going to do part two and uh, then I'm going to show you a couple more variations of the program that will achieve what we want to achieve. So see you then.